Hey, this is Shane with BitBison, and uh, today I'm going to go over level tiles, what they are, why they were used, and uh, give you a rundown of the basic level tiles present in the Verbinar Toolkit. So to follow along with this tutorial, I'd suggest you watch the previous tutorial, because there'd be some concepts covered over here that uh, you wouldn't exactly understand if you didn't watch the previous tutorial. Uh, say you have watched the previous tutorial, uh, what I would suggest you do right now is uh, open up the empty project you use for the previous tutorial and follow along. And if you haven't, I'd suggest you create a new empty uh, project, an empty Unity project. Uh, go to the Asset Store, download the Verbinon Toolkit and extract it into that project and uh, open up the TBNT Scenes Pattern Creator Scene. That's what I've done so far, and uh, this is what you should have. Now, level tiles are the building blocks of patterns, and uh, if you uh, watched the previous tutorial, you should realize that patterns are the, are the building blocks of, uh, of your levels. So um, now let's just create a pattern over here to give you an idea. Now, all these objects over here, that show up on the side where it says choose level tile to place all these objects below them are level tiles and uh, in fact no object can get into a pattern without it being cast through a level tile so all your barrier your button change direction chopping block all of them they're all level tiles um, the reason this was done is that uh, um, unity has a problem with nested prefabs and uh, while I could do a decent job explaining uh, the problem to you, I suggest you go and look it up. The gist of it is that uh, uh, when a prefab contains uh, another prefab as a child, the child prefab loses its connection to its parent prefab object and any changes made to the parent object will not be propagated to the child uh, in, in the new prefab. So. Uh, that's the problem with the nested prefab and in uh, the case of uh, what we're trying to do here uh, I would very much like the ability to to make changes to my level objects even after I've inserted them into a whole bunch of different patterns now if that was not the case I'd have to go individually to every single pattern that contains a particular object and make that change and that just sounds too painful so any object that needs to get into your pattern, as I said before, has to be cast through a level tile. Now, the level tile script is present right here. It's just a simple script. It uh, contains uh, a field to hold your level tile prefab. So this is any prefab that you bring in or any object that you bring in that you'd like to have in your pattern. You want to uh, create an empty object, attach a level tile script to it, and in the field which has the prefab, uh, basically the prefab path, I, you would want to drop the prefab connection from the level object that you bring in. Uh, I'll go over this in more detail in, in the next tutorial on the creation of level tiles and uh, the more advanced level tiles. But uh, that's the basic understanding of what a level tile is. So now the very basic level tiles that you have with the Verbinar Toolkit would be the barrier level tile, the wall small, wall large, the start block, the torch, um, the coins, the pots, um, what else, the change direction block, the end block, all these all these level tiles don't have additional functionality to them. They basically uh, are just initialized without any additional functionality uh, initialized as well. The more advanced level blocks that I'll be covering in the next tutorial will have additional functionality attached to them. 